the time of offering. And I'm going to talk about change again. Not the change that you give your kids and grandkids to put in the tray to teach them about giving. Rather, I'm going to talk about the change of how offering can be given nowadays. Now, when I was a child, my, I would put my coins in the tray as it passed by. And then later, as an adult, I would write a check and, again, put it in the offering tray as it passed by. But times have changed. I see that we can now give our offering to the church via the internet. I don't understand this process. <laughs> but for people who pay their bills online, it is both normal and convenient. Now, don't bother coming to me for an explanation of how this is to be done. I don't use this way of giving, and only when, well, when the theological place of eternal punishment reaches 32 degrees, <laughs> yeah. will I ever consider it. But however we choose to give, we should always do it with a cheerful heart, full of thankfulness, and with the hope that the kingdom of God grows, so that others may know the joy of having Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Let's pray. Father, take what we give and use it to your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.